assalamu alaikum uh, bismillahir rahmanir rahim today is uh, 1st october 2022 and we have uh, in our pediatric icu a patient is almost 1 uh, year old who has uh, post meningitic sequelae aspiration pneumonia leading to uh, i mean more uh, most likely patient has hyperreactive airway disease and on ventilated almost for the last 10 days now so this patient has significant abdominal distension most likely because of septic alias and we were unable to feed this patient so yesterday uh, we were on this vent setting and tidal volume was very good so right now we are on pressure control and tidal volume they are on the lower side so there is a change in the last 12 hours so we could see with the same pressure control tidal volume has been dropped that means the patient compliance has been decreased so and there is a abdominal distension so these are the cases where we have to switch patient from pressure control to volume control lot of times people ask uh, that what uh, 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 i mean what are those patient in which you do mechanical ventilation uh, in a volume control so the patient uh, who are uh, definitely older like uh, more than 10 kg i used to put them on uh, volume control uh, patient who have abdominal distension a significant uh, impairing uh, the excursion of diaphragm in these patient we have to uh, put them uh, on volume control to get the guaranteed minute ventilation and also in a chronic uh, uh, ventilation in ARDS especially in the second uh, and the third stage of ARDS uh, we may use also volume control uh, so these are the indication and any patient where the compliance is very much variable a pressure control is not appropriate uh, ventilation mode because by switching to volume control you guaranteed your minute ventilation because you set tidal volume and the patient uh, variable is peak pressure and you can judge uh, pre- uh, patient ventilation uh, by looking at the peak pressure thank you very much